Hi guys, it's Madame Wario. Welcome back to more Let's Play Super Mario Galaxy. I hope everyone had a great week off and a fabulous spring break. I am quite ready to get back into this game. So, we have 103 star bits, and we only need 100 more to feed this hungry Luma, and that's what I want to start with, because if I'm remembering correctly, I do really like this galaxy coming up. So here we go. More! Yay! That's it, I'm stuffed! Here we go, transform! Ah. Please be the galaxy I'm thinking of. The Drip Drop Galaxy has appeared. Oh, that's not the galaxy I was thinking of! <laughs> this is gonna be as complicated as the last one. I don't know. We're gonna find out. If it's like Slink Star, I'm going to punch everyone around me in the face. Luckily, there's no one around me, so that just includes a bunch of stuffed animals. Giant Eel Outbreak. Well, this sounds like fun. Oh no! No! <laughs> no! This is bad news written all around it. I didn't even say has, I just said this is bad news. There's bad news in it. You know, this is really cool because it's like nighttime though, I will say that much. Hey old man, I need to talk to you. Well, well, ever since I would be able to show up for you, I don't have any, have any fish. Okay, you're creepy. He's like a creepy old dude without the pervy comedic qualities. What? What do you want me to do? Shake to throw the shell you're holding. I'm not holding a shell, dude. I don't want to have to shake to throw shells I'm not even holding. Listen to this music. It's kind of creepy. Isn't it? Hello. Ow, what? <laughs> I'm not good at steering freaking swimming Mario. At all. I really want to know how to open up um, treasure chests to... Well, that was fabulously stupid. What is following me? A bullet freaking bill? <laughs> Don't like. I do not like bullet bills, guys. I really don't. I really dislike them. Where am I going, too? Oh, the socks balls. This is a terrifying level, and it takes a lot of concentration, so I'm, like, not speaking. Oh, I guess I could crash Bullet Bill into it. Oh, but I don't want to do that. I'm terrible at swimming as is. I guess I almost have to, though. Because I'm sure they have, like, red shells in there that will aim directly at the... Although that was pretty good. Oh no, there's a red shell right there. Alright, so we just gotta find non bullety bullet bill. Oh, I should have gotten that. Well, I've got one. Is that what I'm supposed to do? I don't even know if that's what I'm supposed to do. To be perfectly honest, guys. I think so. This. this is very warzone like, and I am not a warzone person. I would suck at war. Because I wouldn't be able to do it. Okay, let's get some air. Yeah, that was a hot jump! Away from me. Go into this treasure chest that you're not going into. Where'd that eel go? I just saw him. Is he right behind me? He was right behind me, that chode. Oh, you just come out of the sand, dude. Get your butt into that guy's butt and call it a day. Okay, we're gonna get... maybe. Trying to get us extra health is gonna get us killed. 
Whoa, everybody's after me. I don't like this. I hate it. Okay, well they all exploded, so it's all good. We're all safe and fun. And we need to find that red shell again. This might take me some time. I apologize, guys. I'm really slow with, um... Really slow with these underwater levels. And I know a lot of you guys always give me like really helpful tips, and then I'm like, oh, I don't know what I'm doing, and I'd like blow it all. I try, I really do. It just sucks sometimes because I'm. Ugh, I continue my bad habits, I guess. Oh, well, that was nice. Cost me some health, but at least I know I can bust those open with a shell. And now we can get a red shell so that we can directly hit. Get away from me. So that we can directly hit the piranha. Or it can just pretend like it was going to directly hit and not really do anything. That's always helpful. Okay, we probably should go up for here though. Going up and up and up. F is that piranha? This shouldn't take this long. I know. Spring break in and then coming back to do this crap. <laughs> Such a good attitude, guys. Don't lie. You only wish it was yours. What is my life right now? Maybe I should go stand up there with the penguins and try and seek out this piranha from- there we go. That actually sort of worked. Oh, come on! Ugh. They have like no air now. Oh, the surface is so high up. I'm not having much luck with this, you know, why did I almost say brown shell with this red shell crap? I'm just not having much luck with it. All I need is to hit that other piranha plant. It's not even a piranha plant. I'm just calling it a piranha because it seems more like that than an eel. Okay, back to my... That should have hit him! Up. Oh. Okay, sorry guys. Let's see. I need to come up with a something to talk about while this takes forever. Okay, good. Or not, because there it is, the end. Now we just have to try and not get killed getting the star. Yeah, unfortunately, um, this was not the this was not the same star as I thought it was. The same, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Hungry Luma galaxy that I thought. Uh, the next one must be what I, the one that I really, really love. Come to think of it, um, my favorite dome, although the kitchen is one of them because of the haunted galaxy, uh, it's not what I was thinking of either. I guess I was just thinking entirely of a different dome that's later in the game. I know that for sure now, but it's so weird because the comets, or the, not the comets, the galaxies I'm thinking of now are so totally, like, different in a lot of ways. I'm like, wow, I got those mixed up. Oh well, I guess I did. <laughs> Either way, there are a lot of really nice um, levels in the kitchen, though. Doesn't matter, we'll unlock what I'm excited about soon enough. Yay, that galaxy's complete at least. Ooh, you have a letter from Luigi! Hey! <laughs> Bro, I got a star, but 
now I can't get back. This is why- Okay, you're the one who said you were gonna write me letters. You didn't say it was gonna- Cause you were gonna get lost in the middle of a galaxy in outer space, but magically have the skill to send mail from your lost position. Couldn't the mail carrier rescue you? Hello? This is stupid. This picture shows where I am. Help! Oh, where is that with that big capsule? Oh, where is that place? Looks familiar, but it, then again... Oh my god, I wonder where Luigi is. I think that's, um, Battle Rock Galaxy, isn't it? Okay. That's great. Thanks, Luigi. You're really, really cool. And he did say there was another, um, galaxy in Good Egg, but we already knew that. Let's see, can we look at this map? There was a comet in orbit. I don't think there is any more though. After a couple levels it it'll move. So Oh well, I guess we'll move on and do something else. So for now, actually, one thing I'll go ahead and do, even though we're going to continue in the kitchen, is I will take a gander at the bedroom since we've not been in here yet. Look at how sweet this is! Ah, oh, I love that bed. Oh, so cool. I wish you could sleep in the bed and like, I don't know, get an extra life or something since it's not like Paper Mario or Mario RPG where you actually have to restore health, but just to get some use out of that bed would be really cool. I know, isn't it funny? Alright, so here are our galaxies in here that we've unlocked so far. We have Gusty Garden Galaxy. Very popular choice with very awesome music. We'll see that in a bit. We have Freeze Frame Galaxy. I always forget about that one, even though it's pretty iconic. And then we also have Dusty Dune Galaxy. Not a big fan of this one, but... Yeah, whatever, we'll see it eventually. The bedroom is, um... <laughs> this is gonna sound really pervy. The bedroom's where things get challenging, or more challenging. Which, I know. That's what she said, oh my god. But really, as far as the levels in the bedroom versus the kitchen, I feel like the bedrooms are trickier. The kitchen is... It, it has its moments, but it's nothing too bad. It's more just, like, annoying mechanics than anything else. All right, let's go back in here and tackle one last galaxy for this episode, because I think that's about all we're going to have time to do. Doesn't matter, because one more is all we need, so... Ooh, and we unlocked whatever the heck this is. This is... B... <laughs> what? Boy Base Galaxy. Boy... Boy? What the heck do we have to do here? I don't know, let's go! <laughs> Perfect timing. I love these galaxies that just have one. Just because they're so quick and gimmicky and fun. The Floating Fortress. Now watch, I'll say that and then I'll regret it later because I'll be like, this sucks so much! Oh good, I already know it's going to suck so much because it involves water! Why did I say I like the kitchen? It's only because of the you know, Haunted Galaxy, and oh my god, this music! I love it! <gasps> I love these robots! These are like my favorite characters in the entire game! They really are! I love these characters! This here is a floating fortress. We call it Boy... Boy... Bo whatever. Boy Base. I'm just gonna call it Boy Base, because that works. But nobody's using it now, so we're just here for upkeep. That's so Wally like Wow, guess what would happen if we blew up the underwater weight? Come on, Jess, give up! That tower in the middle of the water would float right up to the surface. <laughs> I wonder what we have to do. I hate this galaxy. I remember what we have to do now, and it involves freaking bullet bills flying into stupid crap that I don't want to do. my life, guys. Having a party with myself and Bullet Bill, who I don't like, blowing up into stupid weights that I don't want to deal with. There he is. 
go, Mario. Okay, there's one. Yay. Wait, was that the only one we needed? Probably not, but I wish it was. Wow, the underwater version of this song sounds all old school and mechanical. That's really cool. Um, just to let you guys know too, just for anybody interested, um, cause the soundtrack to this game is absolutely beautiful, as I'm sure many of you guys already know, cause I've already pointed it out, but that or you've just played this game before, cause this is not exactly an unpopular title. And I think that was the only one, right? There's this thing down here, but I don't know that I can actually get to it, because I am not very good at steering. Oh. No. was so close. But anyway, yeah, like, none of the underwater soundtracks are on the CD. Soundtrack CD. I'm gonna run out of air, dude. Um... So I'm not used to hearing, like, the underwater versions of these things. So it's just interesting to hear them. And that one sounds very carnival-esque and very, um, old-fashioned, I guess you could say. This is fun. This is exactly what I wanted to do right now. Well, that was pretty cool, though. I will... Give it that. There it is. What's this, you ask? We're about to find out. <laughs> Green star! So cool. Gotta love those green lumas. You know it's real when you come back to Rosalina instead of the dome. Yay! 32! We're making our way up, guys. Ooh, a new chapter! Perfect way to conclude this episode. You rescued a green power star! These stars have a special power! Ask the green lumas about them after all, they are... They will transform into green power stars someday. I don't know why I couldn't read that better. <laughs> well, I guess when I talk like I'm in second grade, I read like I'm in second grade, so that works. Alright, we'll go ahead and go over and talk to the green lumas because they are special. Thank you for helping me! I am a guardian of the trial galaxies. To restore the doorway, we will need the power of two others like me. So there are three total green lumas in the game. Um, and at least I think. I. I'll say that, then somebody will be like, no, there are more. But I'm pretty sure there are only three, and that's their purpose, is just to unlock this um, trial galaxy, which basically has a bunch of challenges in it. It's really complicated. I'm not a big fan, uh, but to 100% the game, you need it, obviously, and they are more um, tricky, challenging galaxies. But we'll see more green stars later, and of Ooh. course, that means we have to return to the galaxy we're just at, because, yes, begin. the green stars are hidden. On that note, let us begin with more story time! Oh, I love these so much. Chapter 4, The Dream. One night, the girl dreamed about her own mother. Where are you going? she asked her mother, retreating back. Without turning, her mother replied, Don't fret, dearest. I'm not going anywhere. I'm always watching over you like the sun in the day and the moon in the night. Well, that mother looked a whole lot like Rosalina. A wave of sadness washed over the girl. What about when it rains and I can't see the sun or the moon? Her mother thought for a moment before responding. Oh, but those earrings are different. I will turn into a star in the clouds and wait for your tears to dry. Oh, crying Luma. When she awoke, the girl's face was damp with tears. 
You have star bits in your eyes, the Luma said to the girl. Wiping her face, the girl replied, These are tears, not star bits. I'm crying because I'll never see my mother ever again. At this, Luma began to cry too. Mama, oh mama, wah. <laughs> the pair traveled through the starry skies, and though they encountered many other comets, not one of them held Luma's mother. Luma was despondent. Now, now, Luma, the rain clouds won't go away if you keep crying, the girl said, giving Luma a squeeze. I'll give you a present if you stop. The girl closed her eyes and said gently, I'll take care of you. With these words, she felt a small spark in her heart. I think we're getting a little closer to Rosalina's whereabouts. Isn't it funny how characters always look exactly like their mothers? Analogies for real life, I guess. Anyway, on that note, that's going to conclude today's episode. So thank you guys so much for watching. We've uncovered quite a bit. We read a new chapter, discovered green stars, and um, also hit up another hungry Luma galaxy. So we've been making the rounds. But we'll make even more next time. So that being said, um, we'll head back to the kitchen next time for more awesome underwater crap. <laughs> <laughs> I love you guys. Thank you for tolerating all the underwater ridiculousness with me. This has been Madame Wario. I'll see you next time. Peace out.